Kia ora and good morning to this week's episode of the Solo Sessions. Good to uh, see you here on a Monday morning, grabbing a wee coffee and just chatting about the week that was. Um, mentally I'm fried right now because I, uh, I've i just realised I may have lost um, another piece of my kit. Yesterday, I'll give you the quick story, yesterday I was filming a triathlon with some um, some people from the gym that I go to, they were entering it. And I was like, I need so many angles, blah, blah, blah. I'll bring my GoPro. Now, I attach my GoPro to, like, the bike stand in the bike area. So when people come off their swim, they run, grab their bike. Oh, cool, we'll get a quick shot of that. Hit record. Well, Callum, one of the other guys, hit record. But did I ever click that back? No, and I've just realized that. So I may need to try and chase that down idiot um on another side note uh, i've been mentioning the last couple of weeks about fpv drones now they're those little drones that can just fly crazy angles and do crazy things and i've been loving it i've been flying mine in the last week got some awesome flights under the belt and have crashed it and slowly starting to break my little like toy practice drone which is fine because uh, like i'm going pretty hard with it uh, yesterday I was like, man, I need to go out for another flight, went to my local school, no one around, big field just right next to me, I thought, oh, this would be great, park up, start flying, I'm away, flying by a playground, We're probably 10 seconds into the flight, then boom, the signal just goes, like it's terrible, I can barely see anything, and I'm like, oh, you normally can fight back to get closer to towards you to get the signal better, and I was like, oh, I'm trying to battle back, battle back, <laughs> and uh, then I lost it just lost all signal I had nothing looked at my remote I had nothing there and I was like wait what have I lost this drone so I spent the next hour searching in the field and everywhere around it and then I went home and just told Nicole look honey it went pretty poorly I lost the drone there she was like nope we're going back so we went back and ended up meeting the caretaker of the school chatting to him he's going to be on the lookout for it but luckily it's not a super expensive drone but still it's like couple hundred bucks um and i'm like damn it so there's two ways i could look at this i could think well a i just shouldn't have flown it as i had i had bad vibes i forgot my like memory card and my in my headset that i that i wear and and i wasn't prepared i just rushed into it or b it may mean that i need to buy a more expensive receiver transmittery kit that can receive signal for longer uh, distances so hmm another purchase sounds good um yeah so maybe i need to get another drone sometime soon but i'm gonna give it a week or two off practice on the simulator more and um put my pennies away for another another drone um yeah so besides drone life and losing pieces of equipment i have been chock up block busy the last week and the next week is looking really chock block busy with video projects um lots and lots and lots of filming and that is mainly because of the world uh buskers festival aka bread and circus which kicked off on thursday slash friday um, of the week just been now if you are tuning in here from switzerland you might be like wait what's the bread and circus festival it's like a a big festival it's a big big thing every in the calendar for Christchurch New Zealand every year uh, people come from all over the world to perform in street shows and, and like night shows and get the people laughing and have a bit of fun and obviously they try and make a living out of it and they just bounce around the world doing this but it's always been a staple in the calendar um, of Christchurch I remember as a kid just missioning around finding different uh, spots and, and loving it so um, I worked at the Buskers Festival at the front of house collecting like gold coin donations and then I eventually started working at one of the bars um, this is obviously like while I was at university and then I was the head of one of the bars and then I took a few years off and then I was like my goal with my quality index business man it would be cool to film for the festival so just motivated I sent emails I tried to get in touch I tried to do all of that and um, nothing I was like, oh, okay, well, whatever, it's never going to happen, that's fine. And then randomly one day, I get an email from an Australian company called uh, Stratton Fret and one of the team there, and they said, hey, we've been given your email by someone 
from Brown Breed, which is a company based in Christchurch, who I don't even think they knew me. And they were like, hey, can you give us a quote for uh, some video work for Breed and Circus, the festival? And I was like, you beauty. So I ended up giving that quote, filming last year, loved it. And now this is my second year with the festival. Um, and the last weekend, and my plan for the week, so I filmed some of the, the big shows. I filmed a chunk of the day shows as well. And I'm chopping those up into like little short, sharp edits for Instagram, for their Facebook, just to get uh, the crush public aware of the festival and remind them that it's on and get them fizzing up for some of the shows. Um, and Blanc de Blanc, which is one of the big shows this year, yeah, wow, we watch that, and when you're filming, you don't really enjoy it as much as 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 normal as you would if you're a punter. But it was entertaining, it was zany, it was wild. Um, I get the crowd involved, so be prepared for that if you're going to sit up the front. Um, yeah, it was it was really cool. So I'd highly recommend going and check that bad boy out before it sells out, or they have like different tiered tickets. I think. Um, if you've got some cash, hey, geez, sit in the front few rows because it costs a little bit more, but it's, yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, and, uh, yeah, you just can't even, exp- you can't even, I don't know, you can't even guess what's going to happen. Like, there's some crazy stuff. And in the video snippet that I made last night for it, I decided to not include all of the all of the little bits and bobs because I want you to be, like, surprised and I want all of the best bits to be in the video, like a trailer or a movie, and you're like, oh, all the funny lines were in the trailer. Um yeah, so we'll see how that goes. I'm filming a bit more of that um, over the next few weeks, actually. Um, I have my first CrossFit competition this weekend. It's called Taurus Trios um, in Palmy. I'm flying out on Friday, fly back on Sunday, and it's just an all-day Saturday competition. Not thinking about it at all until I sit down on the plane on Friday, then I'll be like, oh my gosh, what am I? what have I got myself in for? It's just going to be a hectic day of just sending it in these workouts with a couple of the boys that I'm teaming up with. Um, just giving it my best shot and having a bit of fun. So I'll keep you updated. I'll probably be achy and sore next, next week after that. Um, other things I really wanted to cover. Oh, so one thing for my productivity that I wanted to bring to the forefront. And I don't know if, you, if you're if you a person who battles with productivity. Maybe you're a freelancer yourself or... You just sit in an office and stare at a magazine, I don't know, and you're trying to figure out how to do your work. Um, I use these, um, I don't know how I found them, but I use these timers called, I'm going to botch this, but Pomodoro, P-O-M-O-D-O-R-O, and you can use an app on your phone, you can use something on your uh, web browser, but pretty much what it is, is like 25 minute chunks and then five minute breaks, and then 25 minute chunks, it's just breaking your time um, into little chunks, where you have a break after 25 minutes of work, and it may sound, people might be like, well, you're having way too many breaks, you should just work for hours and hours and hours, but I battle to even commit to that, it's it's nice to sit down for 25 minutes, have no distractions, turn your phone off, focus on your work, and then, oh hey, stop, stop and have a break, and you're like, okay, and then I might even open YouTube, watch other random mindless stuff, but then I'll ban myself from doing any of that for the, just that 25 minute duration and just try and achieve little little targets. And the other day I sat down with a pad, pad and paper and wrote down in each block what I actually achieved and what I was what I was focusing on. It was cool. I liked it. So if you're one of those people who wants to try something new and wants to be more productive, yeah, give it a try. Um, buskers, I mentioned. Crashing my drone, I have already mentioned. Um, the other things I wanted to cover... So far, I have booked in probably 10, closer to maybe to 15 people to be on the Quality Antics podcast in terms of interviews. I want to sit down and not interview them, but just like have a chat with with different people within um, the the Christchurch community that I find interesting, that I want to share their story, that I want to just hear more about their story because I barely know them. And I uh, flicked out some DMs um, in the week just to start, get the ball rolling. And some of those people have come back to me and said, yo, I'm keen to jump on the podcast. So as soon as like next week or the week after, I've got a few guests coming on. Um, and I really can't wait. I can't wait to, to sit down with them and just have a yarn. The podcast set up for that is going to be mobile. I'm going to buy it within the next uh, week or two as well and give that a quick test run. But, whoa, there's some doozy of interviews coming through if you like the sound of that and you have anyone that you think hey i want to hear from then flick them to me in an email quality antics podcast at gmail.com or flick us a dm at quality antics or at quality antics podcast 
and I'll do my best to reach out to them if I think that that'd be really interesting as well. Um, now, one of them that I've got booked for, not this week, but maybe next week, um, is Ellie. Loving Ellie's belly. She is a hilarious chick, and she's going to be on the podcast in a couple of weeks, uh, maybe with her partner, Brett. We'll see how that goes, but we're just going to sit down, spin a bit of a yarn, hear from her, and hear a bit of an insight into what she gets up to, and how she lives her life, and all of those, all of that stuff. I just find it pretty interesting. She'll have some good, good yarns. Um... But besides that, another update is the lad side of the podcast. Now, I reached out to the boys, Jock and Beans. If you're new here, we generally just spin yarns. Um, and said, hey, look, podcast this day. Nothing ever happened. Flick more messages. They've ghosted me here, team. They have ghosted me. Hence why I'm doing these solo sessions where I don't have to rely on anyone else. I just sit down, record, and get things done. Um, so if you see Jock and Beans, if you know those people personally, then give them a bit of stick. Beans is a bit salty, because I mentioned one of my best friends, Swifty, I mentioned that maybe he would be on the podcast this year, I thought I'd love to hear from Swifty, he'd love to get him on, he's an interesting guy, and he didn't take too kindly to the thought of maybe being swapped out, or maybe just being, the crew being tweaked ever so slightly, he's a bit sensitive, um, and it's funny because I can rip him out all day and I know he won't even listen to this because he's like not a podcast guy but he loves to sit down and talk but he doesn't listen to podcasts so um, Beans there's no point in even talking to you but yeah um, if you if you know Beans give him a stick and be like what are you up to mate he's being a bit precious um, yeah um, so that's pretty much the update in terms of the general podcast these solo sessions will keep rolling on as the weeks go on I have more of a portable setup I may record these not in this like studio slash like room setup. I'm gonna be all over the show, um, and when I travel, I'm always gonna just keep chicken away, chip chicken away, keep chipping away. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about the next year and just updating you on what is going on. The week is looking bumper. I'm kicking off today with a Chinese New Year shoot out of the airport, and then tomorrow I've got a shoot at Indigo and Provisions, which is a clothing store in town. We're going to do something pretty epic with them, um, and it just keeps rolling on um, throughout the rest of the week, and then I'm heading off to Palmy. So, week's going to be epic. Keep following along at, at Quality Antics Podcast on my stories, or at Quality Antics um, or just at Quality Antics in general. I chuck heaps of stuff on there. Um, yeah. I think I've filled you in on everything. I've lost bits of gear. I've got to make some note of that and actually start actioning that right now. On that note, I better leave. Thanks, team. Have a good week. See ya. Oh, I did my piece thing again. Bye.